Yeah, well, obviously it was a busy weekend for you guys the last weekend. And, uh, this week, uh, have athletes going out of Southern California, have some athletes going up to, go up to Southern Oregon. Uh, talk about the benefits of just kind of being able to send athletes at uh, different places. Oh, it's great. Uh, we're able to uh, kind of spread our athletes around to go to the best competitions that they're ready for that's going to help them prepare for the conference championships and potentially the national championships. So down in L.A., we have uh, nine athletes competing this weekend between uh, three different meets starting from Wednesday um, all the way through Saturday. Uh, and the goal there is for, I mean, athletes like Kate, Earl, uh, Tegan Eilers, Corey Gilley, and a few others to really better their national marks uh, among the national field and just to uh, see how close they can get to earning those qualifiers as well as improving their spot in the conference standings. And then on the Southern Oregon side, uh, the rest of the team is going to Southern Oregon uh, where they just built a new facility. So there should be some really good competition for us as well. And again, a chance for those athletes that quite are on the, on the national stage yet, but to really improve their marks and uh, just move their way up the conference standings as we get ready for the conference championships in two weeks. How important is it to kind of have you know, the rest of the team up in Southern Oregon and the athletes in LA uh, competing at once, even though they're, they're separated? Oh, absolutely. It, it's great to be able to have as many athletes as possible compete uh, this weekend. Uh, again, it's and by sending the athletes to the different meets, it really allows them to have the level of competition necessary to get the best performance possible. Um, you know, at this part of the season, the athletes that have made that national marks, uh, how do you guys watch them as we get toward you know the the, the, fi the final end of, the, of this regular season? Oh, absolutely. It's um, you know, it's been a really fun season. It's been a it's been a process for these athletes, and um, you know, it's you, you kind of start setting your goals in the beginning of the season with each athlete and. You know, in some cases, like with Corey this year, it's we quickly had to reset those goals because she had exceeded um, her performance level so much and in such a short period of time. So, you know, so for her, it's it's really realizing where she's at on the national stage as, as well as our other athletes who are who aren't quite there yet. But it's but it's uh, it's been a great season to kind of watch those athletes progress uh, each and every week. Uh, from here, since Scott's time here at Humboldt. Is this the most uh, athletes to qualify for nationals, or is it? Big? I want I want to say so because we actually I'm looking at it right now we have uh, four athletes that have um, pro at least provisional qualifiers for nationals already uh, among se seven different events, and then we have uh, s let's see six other athletes that potentially could qualify uh, this weekend or a conference for nationals. So so we're we're talking about you know potentially up to you know, eight plus athletes while going to nationals, which would be an amazing accomplishment um, for our program this year. How serious are the athletes that want to qualify for nationals? How serious are, are they taking this knowing that, you know, it's getting down the final stretch? Yeah, oh, I, I, absolutely. This is, It's crunch time and, you know, they're definitely very focused. They put in all the hard work, you know, the hay is in their barn, so to speak. And it's, and at this point, you know, the, they just need to let the performances come out. The training is there, the fitness is there. And, uh, you know, but they're definitely very dialed into their approach in terms of training and competing.